Now to India, where Tata Motors is getting set to post its report card for 2012. The firm has been hit by perfect storm lately. It's becoming more expensive to make vehicles, while high interest rates have deterred consumers from buying cars. A reporter in Mumbai, Samir Hashmi, has the details. It's a household name in India and found international fame when it launched the Nano, touted to be the world's cheapest car. Tata Motors is one of India's biggest automobile makers, but for the last six months, sales of its passenger cars had been flagging. India was one of the world's hottest car market for most of the last decade, growing at a rapid pace till 2011. But that tide seems to have changed completely in the last one year, with car sales falling for the first time in 12 years. A slowing economy coupled with high interest rates has kept customers away. And Tata Motors is one among many car makers here being affected. In April alone, the firm's passenger car sales were down nearly 50% on the same period a year earlier. High input costs have added to the burden. In an interview to the BBC last month, Tata Motors managing director Carl Slim said that the company had failed to identify growth segments. Well, in India, it's important to ensure that you bring new products to the market and you bring them into the segments which grow. It's not always all segments that are going to continue to show growth. So if the company could have done anything different, not this year we couldn't, but uh, having our binoculars on as far as understanding in the past as to what segments of the industry are going to grow and making sure that we have our product offering aligned with what's happening in our industry. Tata Motors is also one of India's biggest makers of trucks and buses. This is the only business segment that has seen growth so far this year. Experts say it needs to broaden its product offering in India. It probably needs to just reinvent its product portfolio, launch new products at um, you know, regular intervals uh, so that it can remain in sync with customer choices and be relevant in the markets. Its luxury brands, Jaguar and Land Rover, have been one bright spot with buoyant sales in emerging markets like China. Analysts expect these trends to be reflected when the company reports its full year earnings. But they'll also be looking for plans for fresh new models if Tata Motors is to rev up its fortunes at home. Samir Hashmi, BBC News, Mumbai.